the Klokainok Forest. A pine forest located between West Denbyshire and East Conwy in Wales. This forest with these trees provides the perfect habitat to a very small population of one of Wales' more elusive and endangered species, the red squirrel. We came together to try and improve the chances of the red squirrels in Krakainog. Vic is a member of the Kakainov Red Squirrels Trust, a group of volunteers who monitor and support the survival of this population of red squirrels, estimated at only 50 left in the forest. They share their investigations, research and studies with local and wider communities in nature, heritage and conservation, raising awareness of the plight of red squirrels. In the 70s, um, the, there was a, a quite a reasonable population. They thought, I think, thought up to about 200 or more. But since then, they've been declining, and uh, now we're only, we've only got a very small remnant left, which we're trying to encourage to spread out and uh, you know cover the whole forest pretty well. Because so, the whole forest would um, probably support anything up to four or five hundred quite easily and probably a lot more than that. Red squirrels are under threat from the invasive non-native species, the grey squirrel. The grey squirrel can carry the squirrel pox, which is not lethal to a grey, but is deadly to the reds. Sharing food sources spreads disease and can kill off an entire red population. Greys are also able to digest nuts and food sources before they fully ripen, which means they are able to devour a red squirrel's entire food source before the reds get a sniff of it, leaving the reds to starve. A new threat has recently developed. As the world suffers from a global pandemic, so too could the red squirrel. With more people out in nature, the temptation to feed the red squirrels could, in fact, be deadly. Covid is what they call a zoonotic disease, which can pass between animals and humans. And we can infect the squirrels with that adenovirus and other nasties like that. So that's why the, the sort of the hygiene not interfering with the uh, feeders is very important. Vic and the team use gloves and specialist sanitation sprays to ensure COVID and any other human disease cannot transfer onto the food they leave out, whilst asking the public not to leave out any nuts or feed. We want to monitor them, so we put the boxes up with food in them that, so it attracts the squirrels to the cameras so we can try and guess how many there are in the forest as a whole. Using small amounts of feed to tempt the reds in front of the cameras allows the trust to count and identify the population. In some locations, the team are able to use more precise technology, such as radio frequency identification. It's a tiny chip the size of a grain of rice. What this does is when the lid's lifted, the processor detects it and sends a, a signal of a particular frequency through the coil in here which then transmits to the, the tiny little chip and actually powers it up. Once it's powered up it sends a signal back to the coil saying I am 8123 is one of the ones that comes in on, on this particular one. But even with all of this technology to hand in a forest with very little light Identifying squirrels isn't always that easy. It's very difficult to actually ID a squirrel unless it's got a very distinctive markings. They're not always red and greys aren't always grey. Apart from the obvious of the ears, the main way to tell is, is the tail. A grey has white hair, white on the tip of its tail, so it gives it a halo which shows up even with the uh, infrared-type photo. 
but there are some exceptions. Some of them are very distinctive. There's one uh, not far away from here, regularly on the cameras, they call Patchy. And it's got sort of different colours down, different shade down the side. With the help from Klakainog Red Squirrels Trust and the support of Natural Resource Wales, the hope is that one day we will see this small population of red squirrels thrive, grow and fill Klakainog Forest. If anybody is walking in the forest and uh, lucky enough to see a red squirrel, please tell us. Just tell us where you saw it and what time of day and we'd be very appreciative, thank you. If you'd like to see more conservation in action stories, please click like and subscribe.